So, is it bad of me to think that the killer is not the worst person in this book? That there's somebody worse than the killer? I don't know, go figure, but that's the way my brain was going. Um, welcome to the D. Louise book series. I'm Christina K-R-I-S-T-I-N-A. This is where we read books, talk about books. No special effects going on here, nothing like that. While we're at it, don't forget to please check out Flashback Monday. We talk about Romantic Times Book Review Magazine. I found a couple others. I didn't find the last one I wanted. Oh, so pissed. I'll go into that on Flashback Monday. Um, my rant about that. But I review and talk about books from the olden days. This magazine is still valid today. Uh, those books, those authors still exist. You can still find new authors. It still works. Star Trek Fridays, Next Generation. I'm a series person. I like series. Progression, progression, progression. So there's episodes recap every Friday. And if then. Uh, it's my brand new series. I'm really enjoying the heck out of it. I would hope that someday somebody will actually watch it. Uh, I've done three so far. I'm going to do a few more every Friday afternoon after Star Trek. So hopefully one day you'll check it out. Please do. I could use the likes and subscribes too. The channel's not going anywhere. It's just flopping in the old wind there. Over a year now and this is where I sit. Nobody's watching. So, hey everybody that's actually watching. Thank you for watching. I'm so happy. And there were parts of this book that just pissed me off six ways to Sunday. So that's a good book. Is that a sign of a good book? When it when it just irks the crap out of you, that it stirs emotions. Do you like books that make you angry, that makes me sad, that heart wrenching? I know you're out there. I know you exist. I've seen you on Facebook. I've seen you. Oh, can you give me books that will have my heart wrenching and have me crying and go through tissues? I've seen those posts. I read to escape. I read to escape life. I read, I read for enjoyment. I want a good mystery. I want enjoyable characters. Either good mystery or enjoyable characters. But no, if there's going to be a love story, give me a mystery plot around it. Just don't give me um, uh, character angst. I just can't deal with character angst. It's just, ugh. Anyways, I didn't know this book because I... I thought the other, I was waiting for this next book in the series. I read the first one last year, because around April, pre-search pre my um, channel for it. Um, it was called, uh, what is it? Better Off Read. And I didn't know there was a second book, and I just discovered it, and it was good. It took a few hours. It was really good to read. We are talking about Read on Arrival, Nora Page. The 75-year-old lady that drives a bookmobile. Do you remember the bookmobiles? Actually, we used to have a few in the neighborhood here. But when we were kids, we had the bookmobiles. The library is my favorite place to go. And, um, where's my paper? So, Cleo, she's 75. She's a librarian. She's the head librarian at the library. She also drives the bookmobile, and she loves seeing kids reading and enjoying reading and going to the senior citizens' places and going to some homeless shelters and going to the YMCA. Make sure everybody has a book to read. And a long time ago, over 30 years ago, one of the people that she knows, Dixie, took a book out called Lucky and Lore and never returned it. And there's an $800 overdue fine on the book. And, um... Last year, you can go check out my Better Off Read uh, event. Uh, the, there was an accident, uh, some damage, storm damage to the library, and Clea was having trouble gaining support to have the library rebuilt. The, guy, the mayor didn't think they needed one, and he was giving all kinds of excuses, and one thing led to another. So they finally got that situated, and the library was rebuilt. Yay! Yahoo-wee! The, the library was rebuilt! Yeah, 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 yeah! So, now we're getting ready for the grand day opening. And there was an interview done. Cleo did an interview. And she m mentioned the book that's overdue by this person. And it's, it's just starts, it starts building a wave. Slowly, 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 slowly. And it gathers up all this angst and all this anger. 
And in the meantime, the lady that, um, I got to down. Uh, did owes oh, the, the book that won't return the book because it's given her good luck all these years. She, she considers it her good luck charm. All of a sudden, she's been receiving death threats. Now she believes she's dying. She's getting little postcards in the mail in the shape of a coffin. Um, welcome to your new home. And she's going around town when everybody she's dying. Everybody thinks she's hypochondria because she's in really good health, blah, 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 blah. And the next thing you know, she's locked in her... Someone, some cruel person, unknown to us at this juncture, um... Put honey in a box of cereal. Put bees in the pantry. And then accidentally locked the woman in the pantry with all the bees. And the woman got stung to death because she was allergic to bees. And she died. So that's our main mystery for the whole book. That... The lady died, and Cleo is investigate. But Cleo has bigger issues. And um, have you been in Barnes and Noble lately? What is it about display? What I want books. I want the actual product. I'm not about the display. The turned book. The turned book. I want the books. I want to have the product. I want you to have 50 or 60 or 70 copies of books on your shelf. I want to be able to go into your establishment and pick a book off the shelf. Not have to, oh, can I order that for you? We don't have it. Have you been in Barnes & Noble lately? I did a video the other day, a while back. I went into Barnes & Noble. I had decided I was going to look. I was going to not do all that searching because it was useless, absolutely useless to do all that searching to find the right book. So what I said to myself was pick four authors, Sherilyn Kenyon, Kim Harrison, um, J.R. Ward, and uh, Charlene Harris. And I went in and I was like, Whatever book they have from 2023, regardless of what it was, because I don't, I'm pretty sure I don't have it, I was going to buy it. As long as they had a 2023 book in that shop. They didn't. They had none. So check out my video. It shows they had none. And it's the libraries are getting all about the ebooks. I got I'm gonna do an if then, and I gotta do a few of them as the drop-ins. And I hate, I'd, I'd rather hold up a book. I'd rather show you a book. But unfortunately, the library is getting more ebook every day and it's driving me bonkers. I want a physical book. And there are empty shelves in my library. There are empty shelves. And there's a lot of empty space in the library. And they're using it for other things right now. But I would rather have the extra bookshelves. I would rather have the extra choices of books, see the extra authors. In the olden days, but I was, it costs money to heat and air condition books. It costs money. And the ebooks, you know, they can carry the older versions online, etc. Fine. And it helps too if you want a Kindle. If you're going away on vacation, that's fine. Then you can do, you can take those. Because you don't want to carry 20 books on vacation. That's just too heavy. And a Kindle is fine for vacations. But home, I want a book. And I'm so tired of the, the display shit. And anyway, this woman comes and she's in love. She is conning. I think he's the he I think he's the head of the library board. And um she's all about the display. And it's driving me bonkers, the whole book. I am like, you know how. She's always got to get off during a video. Always got to go off during a video. So, I have an author that says, if it happens on the page, then it's on stage. And if it happens off the page, like you're told that it's happened in the past, 
Oh, last week, but if one character's telling another character, oh, it happened last week, that's off stage. So, the murder of one she's finally revealed has been on stage pretty steadily through the whole book. But she's the last person you should be. You don't suspect that's a woman for nothing. All the fingers are pointing this way, this way, that way, this way, that way, this way, that way. The fingers go every which way. And this woman, um, uh, uh, she's proposing, uh, this library wants to get rid of this woman because she's destroyed the library, literally destroyed it. So they're sending her to another district, another library, another county, and they're giving her praises because they want to get rid of her. And she's decided that the library needs a paid reading room where patrons have to pay to go into the reading room. And the head librarian, Cleo, is having no part of it. Um, that's me, Bella Chipped. Remember, innovations plus librarian equals. She waved open palms encouragingly on the board member's chorus. In O'Brien. Cleo hadn't been question, questioning the made-up term full-time. Full I understood Mr. Whitney wanted to hire a temporary consultant. Although I see no need since we're doing just fine. There's no full-time position open right now, or a need for one. We're about to have a full-time opportunity, Mercer said. That's why I invited the boy here to see Bella's vision. They have, they have generously accepted my offer to fund this important position. Bella will guide our library design, innovations, outreach activities, and mobile ventures. By mobile ventures, I mean bookmobiles, Bella said. I have all sorts of snazz up place and your bookmobile. I like thinking outside the box. What if it's not even a bus? What if we had a tiny stagecoach to haul around the park? Um, she's, where does it go? She wants to get rid of all the inventory. She wants to get rid of all the books. It's a library. It's supposed to have books. Um, pro uh, uh, auctionables, product, profit, in inventory. Um, inventory, books, Bella said, once books are read, they're done right. I mean, who reads a book twice or the out-of-date ones for that matter? Plus, folks can lose paper books or their kid or mini horse might rip a page or spill something on them or they get moldy or moth-eaten. Or a patron keeps a book out for over 40 years and the library staff has no way of retrieving either book or the late fine. Unacceptable. Paper is the past. I say we limit the heavy space wasting paper books. That'll make them more valuable, like diamonds. And she wants to put up figurines. She wants to change the page. She wants to remove all the books from the library. I'm like, no. A library is a place for books. And the more you get to know this Bella lady, you just want to, ah, get rid of her. Get rid of her. I want my library back. So I think that's a sign of a really good book, that it stirs your emotions, that it gets you involved in the characters that you just want to scream along, you hear the frustration of Cleo. Um, uh, where else? Uh, she, it just goes on for, she, she goes, and um, she wants to get rid of all the nonfiction books. She doesn't believe they need the nonfiction books either. And it just goes on. So while we are dealing with the murder mystery, we're also dealing with this woman that wants to destroy the library and change the paint colors to really loud paint colors and remove all the books from the library once they're read. Uh, no, no. If I find a new series and I'm a series person and you know I'm a series person, I want to be able to get book one through book 30. And I just found a series the other day and it's like book one, and then like e book e book e book a book e book uh, e book e book and it's so frustrating. It's so frustrating. But so if you want to get to know Cleo and Henry, her gentleman friend, and her book club, and Leanna, her helper, who's studying really hard to become a librarian and all the tri trials and tribulations of running the bookmobile 
and how a lot of people get some death threats in the shape of coffins, not just one person, several people. And uh, the bookmobile gets a little damaged, and this lady, Bella, just drives you bonk. You're kind of focused on Bella most of the book. I mean, there are some incidents with uh, Dixie's children, uh, some dramatic, explosive scenes with them that provide, um, you know, amusement and other stuff to get you enthralled. But for this book, Bella was just like, I was just like, I want Bella to be the murderer so bad so we can get rid of her. But once the murderer is revealed and all these true rev revelations come out, you're like, oh, my God. So, and, and once Bella, Mr. Mercer is, is killed, too. So once he's gone, uh, the road is open there. So we'll have to find out in the next book if and when I can find it, uh, what happens with the library. But please hit the like and subscribe. And let me know if you enjoy this book as much as I did. And if you got heated when you heard Bella say that she was going to get rid of all the books in the library. And how she's contacted one of the our antique dealers in town to take away all the genealogy section. Say, don't you dare take my genealogy section. Don't you dare. I've got one over there. But anyways, so please hit the like and subscribe. And let me know I'm doing a good job. Thank you.